Sean Sewell with InGearMint.com. Got a really fun video for you. Uh, about this time last year, we were sent a Bearskin 2.0 hoodie to test out. Myself, Dan Jimenez in Hawaii, and Ryan Humphreys here in Denver. And uh, we shot the videos in different locations and uh, went through our thoughts and everything on the Bearskin tactical hoodie. And that has turned into a half million views. And so I anticipate that this video will be shared around quite a bit as well. So I'm gonna do my absolute best to go over all the features, functions, and updates and improvements on the Bearskin Tactical 3 hoodie, this guy right here. So let's get into it. First, we'll start with sizing. I am six foot one, 215 pounds, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 36, 37 on the arms. And if you saw the previous video, this right here probably makes you pretty happy. One of the major improvements they did is they got rid of the bat wings. They had all that extra slack in the sleeve. No idea why, but you know what they did? They listened. And boy, the people offer comments on our YouTube videos. Bearskin went through line by line and listened to you guys and took into consideration and acted on those tips. So yeah, boom, no more bat wings. It's actually like a regular jacket now. And while I, while I got you here, I can show you the new and improved cuffs. These are actually plastic. So these are more durable. And also look at the, the hem of this is a much tighter hem now. It's not so baggy, obviously not as baggy in the arms. And so you can really dial it, that in, especially if you're going on undercuff gloves there in the fall and the winter, you could definitely strap them down and get them nice and tight. The material is a 330 gram polyester fleece. That is a thick fleece, in my opinion. Personally, I run as a base layer, 150 weight merino or alpaca wool. I love wool. Um, for mid layers, I'm going to 250 on wool or sometimes poly. So a 330 for me personally is pretty, pretty warm. We're based here in Colorado. Uh, today's temperature will be down to 38 degrees. Uh, where I go to camp and where I go to the split board, it's gonna be in the, the teens. I could, I could pull this off with just a t-shirt. So I'll show you just, just a basic wool t-shirt, 150 weight. And uh, while, while I'm here, I'll give you an idea of my build so you can get an idea how this might look or fit on you. So there is again, um, this is me, six foot one, 215, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist. Got a little bit of a beer belly right there, but uh, this is my, my build. So if you're similar to this, then this men's extra large might fit you similarly. Um, and from my, you know, I, I gave my 2.0 away to a friend, Jamaican friend, and uh, keeping him warm. Um, but otherwise I'd have him side by side to show you that the Bearskin 3.0 is much more trim. It's not slim, don't worry. This is not like Patagonia Alpine fit or Mountain Hardware Alpine fit. This is a regular fit, but the previous version 2.0 was very boxy. So I'm glad to see that. But um. While well, I got you here, you can see the Bearskin logo around the, the neck there. You see the two drop pockets, and then on the drop pockets, on each of them, you get a zipper, which is pretty sweet. So you can, a drop pocket, in case you don't know, you just simply drop things into it. It doesn't come out the other side. So you can easily drop whatever in there. Then you get a zip pocket right there. Same thing on the other side. Drop pocket, zipper right there. Up high, you get a nice zip right here, as well as another drop pocket. So right there, you got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets on the inside. Haven't even gotten to the ones on the outside, which this, this thing is pretty well known for. It is a tactical style hoodie, by the way. So um, other improvements that I've noticed besides the improved hem on the arm, an improved hem on the cuff, the improved cuff, the softer feel of material. The previous one wasn't unsoft. This one just feels cozier, a little softer. Uh, the big improvement too, you get double zipper. So that comes in handy for some people like double zip for taking care of business or potentially climbers. Uh, the zippers are improved. Like that was the very first thing I noticed. They're just really smooth the zippers. They work really, really well. Not just the main zipper. And I'll show you what double zipper can do. So you can get creative with that. And even like the Napoleon, see how easy that was? Napoleon pocket, easy breezy, large pocket. Here is an iPhone 15 Max Pro. Yep, swallowed that right up. So you can easily carry your phone up there if you're hiking around. Uh, the hand pockets are, are very comfortable, sizable, 
pockets right there. Again, zippers are, are improved. They're, they're among the better zippers I've tested on things. And if you know our channel, and I hope you get to learn our channel if you're new to the channel, we work with all the brands. Anything you see in REI, we work with them often before the gear comes out. Arcteryx, Patagonia, Outdoor Research, Gregory, whatever. We work with them. We work closely with them to give them feedback. So, and you guys got to be part of that process with Bearskin last year. So your feedback, it actually shows up in this jacket, which is very nice to see. They're not done with the pockets yet though, guys. You get another pocket over here, zippered. So you could put, well, some people put like the ski pass in there. You can put whatever you want there. You get another one over here. And then it would not be a tactical jacket without a morale patch place. So, you know, um, my colleagues, Ryan and Dan, who did the reviews on these last year are both vets uh, and they have morale patches. And it's just, it's a cool thing. A, a morale patch often in the military used to, to show who you're with, what, what team, what platoon. But you can make morale patches for your gym or for your fundraiser or for your family or friends. It can, you can make a goofy one if you want. Just, it's kind of fun, right? That, that's what this is for. You don't have to use it. There's a pocket that I don't use, speaking of not using things, it's in the rear. I didn't know what this was last year, then all my hunting friends came and told me that that's a bird pocket. Now I'm not doing any pheasant hunting and I'm not planning on putting a, a bloody dead bird back there, but it does come in handy as a place if you, um, like myself, I bike to work often. And so often in bike clothing, they'll have a pocket back here to stash stuff. So you can stash a wind shell or a rain shell back here, or if you're going to a football game or concert, you can put your your uh, uh, towel down, you know, right here. You can stuff a couple tall boys back there. They're pockets, you can do with them what you will. Um, other improvements, on the hem, like I mentioned, it's not as boxy as it was last year. It's more trim. Again, this is extra large, and this is what it looks like from different angles. Uh, the length is better. It's not as short as last year. And I have it dialed in just a little bit, and it has easy to pull hem adjustments right there. Just squeeze and then pull um, and they stay out of the way. It's nice. Um, the hood, the hood is improved too. So again, people have opportunities of suggestions on how to make things better and bear skin actually. Do. So here is a hood. It's not as humongous as last time. You still get the kind of goofy flap right here and I'll, I'll show you how I put it to use. And then I'll show you the neck coverage. It's pretty low on neck coverage. Um, it's sufficient. You're probably gonna have a balacava or a neck gaiter with you anyways. But I'll show you with a hat, how that fuzzy part can be put to use. In Gearmint hat available in our shop on YouTube. I suggest you get one, probably well-made. Boom, so now that we got that, it fits perfectly, right? Just extra layer protection for your hat, if you care about it, and also your vision. So, zipped up. All right, and if you really want to tie, uh, tie it in, you can toggle down right here. There is no rear. All right, so there it is. Um, price point, it's usually like $99. I think it says like 67% off, but it's almost always $99. Um, shipping should be better this year. They, they sold a lot last year and they had problems keeping up with shipping and they admit it. So I anticipate shipping will be a whole lot better this time around. Um, fingers crossed on that because at the price point, $100, it's gonna be pretty hard to find anything comparable. Um, if I was, you know, to try and go into like a Patagonia R1 hoodie, which is a great hoodie, you're gonna look at two and a half times the price. Uh, if you go into a North Face, you're looking at at least twice as price and you don't get all the pockets. Usually you're gonna get two pockets and they're probably usually gonna be up higher to play nicely with a backpack. You might get one Napoleon pocket. Um, you're not, not gonna get the bird pocket. You're not gonna get uh, double drop pockets with zippers. You're not gonna get an internal zip pocket. That's just not something that other outdoor companies usually take into consideration. But Bearskin does a great job listening to feedback, the good and the bad, and then implementing it into the next version, which here it is, the 3.0. Um, this is my review, in my opinion. I'm not paid to say this, I'm not paid in any way from them. Um, but they did send this over for me to test out. They sent over one for Ryan and one for Dan as well. So we'll have their opinions here very soon. They also have a female version. So we have our female riders testing it out as well. So we'll have more content, more coverage, and more opinions and sizing. Cause it's not, it, it's cool to see it on one person, 
but it's very helpful to see it on a lot of people of different backgrounds. So if you'd like to see that, consider subscribing to our Engagement YouTube channel. Link right there. If you've got any questions or feedback, and keep it cool, <laughs> constructive feedback is always helpful. Um, put those in the comments below and uh, we'll read them, probably reply to them if they're a good question. And uh, yeah, and share with our community how you use them. Uh, we're all trying to learn from each other here and do as best as we can. I'm Sean Sewell, the owner and director of Stoke for Engearment. Until next time, take care.